Hi friends, my name is Emily, this is Lucy, and welcome to the Wish You Were Here newsletter for April of 2024. You may be thinking to yourself, Emily, why are you in your forerunner right now? And I will tell you friends, it is because April, this April, 2024, we are celebrating a very, very special anniversary. Lucy and I are celebrating 10 years since adopting her. Look at that. We're about to go for a walk, so she's very excited and she's very focused, but 10 years this April, I know that was you. Look at you, since adopting her, okay? So there's a little story time about that, and we're also doing a second photo session giveaway um, for anyone who has a vehicle that they really, really love. There's a story time for that as well because this April we are also celebrating three years since buying my Forerunner. So a little bit of behind the scenes of the newsletter. Then I'll give you a behind the scenes story for Lucy's story and a behind the scenes of the Forerunner. Um, and then I'm gonna go take her for a walk. So behind the scenes here, this is what the newsletter looks like. A little bit of an introduction. This is gonna be the YouTube plant video that y'all are listening to right now and watching. This little button right here says apply here to win if you want to enter into um, the photo session that we're gonna be talking about like for your dog you can have a dog photo session um, we're gonna be talking about that we're also gonna be talking about the forerunner or not the forerunner but the vehicle photo session giveaway I don't know why I said vehicle Sounds like a weird word now that I'm saying it. Anyways, that is gonna be apply here to win. So you'll click on here and it's gonna bring you to a little form and you're going to fill out a couple of questions and then I'm going to look over all the forms and either in May or June's newsletter, I'm going to announce the winner. Um, there's also a link for the April blogs where I put my favorite word of the month, quote of the month, my top five favorite songs of the month, uh, my book of the month, and my family recipe of the month. So you can click the read April's blog blog. There's a latest on the personal gram and then as you know it a word search wouldn't be a complete of a newsletter without a word search. Um, so that's for the newsletter. And if you wanted to sign up, you can go to my website at emilywish.com backslash newsletter. That's E M I L Y W I S C H dot com backslash newsletter. Okay. For Lucy's story time of how she was adopted. Um, it was a Friday afternoon, April 25th, 2014. Um, she's also, we're about to go to for a walk, so she's like pouting that we're not going just yet. I was a senior in college um, at A&M and I was working that Friday afternoon. And at the time I knew that I was going to be graduating soon, I was going to be living on my own and I wanted to have a dog that could be a companion for me, keep me safe, and then also I wanted a dog that I could go running with. I really enjoyed running at the time. And so it's Friday afternoon, I'm at work. Work's a little bit slow and so I just get on the internet and I look at Aggieland Humane Society and I look to see what type of dogs they have right there. And again, I wanted a dog that I could run with predominantly, so I'm looking for a bigger dog. And I see Lucy's photo, <laughs> this little cutie one. And I was like, that looks like a German short-haired pointer um, type of mix or like a lab mix. And so I leave work and I go to check her out. And they are almost about to close, so they could only let me view her. I couldn't take her home that day. So, like, view her, that also sounds weird. But we got to take her out of the cage in her kennel, and we got to go to the outdoor little area, a little grassy area, and she was just soaking in the sun. It was a beautiful day. And then she just came up to me, and she rolled on her back, and she just, like, looked at me, like, please take me home. And I just knew that was my dog. So I got to pick her up that following Monday on the 28th, and it's been the best 10 years yet. Um, Lucy and I have done so many things together um, we have gotten through college we graduated college we got our first big girl job we quit that first big girl job and we got a couple more after that uh, we started a business together we uh, we got rid of my old car that I had had since high school and we bought this forerunner together we've just done a lot um, a lot together and so it's really special to me and this this 10 year anniversary is really special to me and I know that she's sleeping right now and she doesn't look excited, but I know that she's super pumped too. Um, so this photo session for that one, again, is for anyone who has like adopted their dog or maybe you have a senior dog who is in their golden years and you would just love some really nice photos with them. I would be honored. Um, so again, click that apply here to win. You're gonna answer a couple questions and we'll go from there. Okay, story time for the Forerunner. So, if you know me, you know that I had a Nissan Altima that I rode until it died, literally. So, 
I had had that, that car since high school. And again, it got me through college, got me through everything, and I was gonna ride that car until it died. And that April of 2021, um, I was recently going through a breakup. And ironically enough, the, uh, like it was a long-term breakup. And ironically enough, uh, my ex was also into cars, okay? And ironically enough, the same week that he was moving out of the house, my car breaks down like less than 72 hours after uh i leave the house because i was gonna leave for a week and go to my sister's house so that he could move out less than 72 hours uh i'm driving down 35 and my car starts bellowing with smoke now for a preface uh, at the beginning of the week, I took my car to a mechanic because it was it was having issues still and I just wanted to get an opinion on if it was even worth trying to fix or if I should just sell it. And the mechanic said, you should just sell it, honestly. So I said, cool. Um, so smoke is billowing as I'm going on down I-35 South and um, I had to make a decision in that moment. Do I call my ex-boyfriend and after like he's moving out of the house right now and ask him for help uh, or do I just figure it out on my own? And I decided that it would not have been fair to call him and ask for help so I just decided that I was going to figure it out on my own. So came back into Houston and I was photographing a doubleheader weekend, a wedding weekend and I needed to rent a car. So as I came back down, he was still moving out. So I stayed with a friend and I rented a car. And then when I got back on that Sunday to the house, empty house, I started researching the internet for a forerunner, all dealerships. Um, I found a couple of different across the state, um, but the best deal that I found, the one that was within the years, the mileage, the like previous owners, like no wrecks, all of that. And it just happened to also be the, uh, the limited edition that I wanted and the color that I wanted. It was available, and you're not gonna guess this, less than 10 miles from my house. So I get there on April 19th, Monday. I drive into the dealership. I trade in my car. We look at this forerunner. It hasn't even been cleaned yet because the lady just brought it in the day before. Uh, we take it for a test drive and I buy it right then and there. I love it. And they tell me that I can't take it that day because they were gonna clean it. And I said, that's fair. Um, so I Ubered back to my house and they cleaned it and they called me the next couple days. They told me I could bring it in. So I Ubered back to the dealership and the rest is history. I love this truck. Uh, this truck, I was originally that summer going to trade it in. I was gonna get a van and I was gonna do van life if some of y'all were there for that. But instead I ended up getting a Casita travel trailer because I just loved this Forerunner so much and I didn't wanna get rid of it yet. So we got a travel trailer. Um, we did that for the year of 2022. And this truck has brought me to Big Bend National Park. Uh, this truck has gotten me all across Texas for all of my weddings. We've put almost 100,000 miles on it in the past three years. And it also got me to New York City last summer. Um, so it's incredible. And this photo session is for anyone who has a special connection with their vehicle, their truck, their car, anything. Could be a motorbike, anything that you have. Um, I would just love to be able to document that for you. So again, that one, same thing. You're going to click on the apply here. Um, you fill out a couple of questions. And then we're going to announce the winner in either May or June's newsletter. So. Thank y'all so much for being here. I appreciate it. And if you are watching this either through YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or any other social media platform and you want to sign up for the newsletter, you can go to my website at emilywish.com backslash newsletter. Um, and the sign up link will be there or also just emilywish.com um, at the footer. There's the, there's the signups there. So thanks friends. Um, I love y'all so much. And I meant to do this actually at the beginning. Oh, I'm ready. Ready? Yes, you ready? I was going to take a Polaroid at the beginning of the video and then we were going to watch it, um, watch it develop, but I didn't in the moment. I was so nervous. Sometimes recording these videos make me nervous recording videos. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go for a walk and if anyone again wants some cutie photos, anyone can apply. All are welcome and encouraged. All right. Love you friends. See you. Um, I'm going to be posting 
a couple of new things in April on the blog um, and a couple of those will be sent in newsletters as well. Um, not like the monthly newsletters, but within. And then other than that, we have a pretty stacked, pretty stacked April. So if y'all have any questions, you can let me know. My email address is on my website as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Lucy, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go. Let's go for a walk. Come here. You want to come right here? Come here. She's ready. She's ready to go. Okay, bye. Love you.